serving mom vibes today. My hair is up, I'm filming, I'm feeling good. And yeah, anyways, I have to mention something. If you're a girl watching this video, I just discovered this brand. Just let me show you the top. Now, I'm not gonna lie, my boobs never look like this. Unless I wear like a super pushed up bra, my boobs will never look like this, this good. Basically, I got an order the other day from this company called Joa Brown. It's based out of LA and I ordered a bunch of their like basics. They're super good. They were mega overpriced. Like if you don't really care about the basics that you're wearing, don't get them because even me, when I bought them, I was like, honestly, for basics, how can you even live with yourself charging that much for a basic t-shirt? Like, it's just crazy. But anyways, I digress. I kind of love it. <laughs> like you can see the shaping, it's just amazing. So basically, I asked you guys on Instagram to tell me what is your favorite fragrance to wear in fall. And that is what today's video is about. I'm sharing with you guys the most popular answers. When I asked you guys on Instagram, these were the most frequently answered fragrances to the questions. So let's get into the video. Some may surprise you, some may not at all. And yeah, I'm very excited for this. So I think we're gonna start out with this fragrance right here. It is Montal Intense Cafe. Now, I love this fragrance. I agree that it's an absolutely fantastic fragrance to wear throughout the full time. And honestly, I am a fan of the brand of Montal and Mancero. Maybe even more so Montal. I really love their juice a lot. It's very strong. The brand really has a character to it. The only thing that I don't like, and I think I'm maybe one among so many people that agree with this, I really don't like their packaging. It's very handy and convenient but it's just not the most beautiful fragrance bottles to keep. But anyways, Intense Cafe is a beautiful, creamy, vanilla, rose type of scent. It's very creamy, it's a little milky, it's very sweet, very sexy, very yummy. The only comment that I have to say about this fragrance is that this scent DNA is so, so, so popular, especially where I'm living in Dubai. I smell this, even the hand towels that they give you at the restaurants to like wipe your hands, they all smell like Montal Intense Cafe. Shops, they smell like Intense Cafe. Everywhere smells like Intense Cafe. There are so many fragrances that smell exactly like this, but the scent DNA is so addictive, very sexy, sweet, kind of creamy, chocolatey, milky rose scent, and it's just delicious. I absolutely love it. I know that there is the Ristretto Intense Cafe, I would really like to try this one. I don't think I've tried it yet. And uh, I heard that it's very good. With this fragrance, you get super longevity, super projection. It performs super well in the fall and winter time. And you're gonna get noticed and complimented with this one because it's such an appealing type of scent. So I, I agree with you guys on Instagram. This one is a fantastic one to wear throughout the fall. Next up, very, very frequently popped up. Oud for greatness. I wasn't surprised. This is such a beast such a beast this fragrance is a 10 out of 10 masterpiece i i just cannot say enough good things about it i discovered it a long time ago over two years ago and when i smelled it for the first time actually i wasn't a big fan of it until i sprayed a tester strip and i remember leaving it in my room and i could just smell this intoxicating scent in my room for days after then i went obviously to try to spray it on my skin and I had an incredible experience, a religious experience with Oud for Greatness. It is just a fantastic masterpiece of a fragrance. It's smoky. Oh, it has a bit of like this leathery almost touch, I guess from the saffron. It gives like this small little leather touch. It's woody, smooth, a little like nutsy as well underneath. It has a bit of a sweetness in the background. Once it's dried down on your skin, you do get like a subtle sweetness. Honestly, it gives me the same effect that Baccarat Rouge does, and I've said it many times on my channel, I do recommend if you own both of those fragrances, Oud for Greatness and Baccarat, that you try to mix them together because it creates this really intoxicating and just mysterious, powerful scent of attraction. Like, it's really crazy. Oud for Greatness, the longevity and projection we don't need to talk about. It's 
extreme. It's probably the longest lasting fragrance in my collection, along with Oud Bouquet, Baccarat Rouge, Oud for Greatness, and there is a few others that last like crazy on my skin, but this is definitely a beast mode fragrance. Oud for Greatness, fantastic. I highly recommend it. And yeah, what can I say? I'm not surprised that so many of you agree with this one for the fall. It's just fantastic. This one kind of surprised me because so many people now own and love this fragrance. And yeah, I also own and love this fragrance. This is my third bottle of Gris Chanel. I have slowed down wearing it, to be honest, just because I'm trying other things in my collection and I'm enjoying other fragrances, new fragrances, but I still, it's still one of my favorite fragrances in the world. Gris Chanel, it's so unique and special and it makes you feel immediately cozy and it transports you to the full time. That's why I love it so much. It's so Parisian chic, cashmere. It's just beautiful. The notes in here, I get this milky, creamy, a little spicy. You get some cardamom in the top. So it's like kind of has this green spice in the top. But then it comes down and it becomes very woody, milky sandalwood, creamy, like masala chai vibes. And I just love it so much. There's a little bit of like this figgy sort of note in there, but not too overwhelming like in Diptyque Philosophos. It's not like that. It's more creamy and rounded and smooth. Gris Chanel on my skin, I have heard people speak otherwise. It's different to every person. On my skin, this lasts a very long time, maybe like eight hours, and it has really good projection. It's not like Oud for Greatness, but it has good projection. And I always remember getting so many compliments when I first started wearing this. I remember getting so many compliments. One was in Sandro, the vendor. She was asking me where to buy the fragrance because she loves what I'm wearing. And I just remember so many times people were like, what are you wearing? It smells so beautiful. And for me, this fragrance is so chic and expensive and I feel like very Parisian chic vibe when I wear this scent. Love it so much. By the way, I didn't mention, definitely unisex. Oud for Greatness, definitely unisex. Intense Cafe, I think it's a little more feminine, but I know men wear that one a lot, so take that as you want. So yeah, anyways, Gris Chanel, 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. Honestly, the ones that you guys have here and that you chose, they're all fragrances that I also love to wear during the full time. So next up, it is not Jazz Club. It is By The Fireplace. Now, I will tell you guys something right now. I am not sure if I'm such a big fan of this scent anymore. I, actually, I think maybe it's turned. It's smelling very alcoholy right now, but sometimes I leave the curtain open and sometimes my perfumes get a bit destroyed. Ah, it's really smelling. Maybe it's off. Okay, it's smelling a bit better now. So, by the fireplace, I completely understand the love and the fantasy of this fragrance because it really does smell like burning wood and chestnuts. It I love this brand, Maiton. Maiton? Maiton? How's it going, Maiton? Mason Martin Margiello. I really love this brand as a, as a designer fragrance brand. It's like the perfect mix and it's exactly what I would recommend to somebody who's only used to wearing like a Chanel or a Lancome or something. They want to kind of discover niche a little bit. This is the brand that I would tell them to go for, even though it's not niche. Some of their fragrances smell niche, they're different, they have a cool concept and I just, from the bottle to the juice to the idea and concept of the brand, I just think it's so fabulous and it's such a big brand and worldwide renowned. But anyways, going on, By the Fireplace is very sweet, very woody, a little smoky. I will tell you the only thing that I don't like about this fragrance is that I remember wearing it and I wore it many times, but something about one time that I wore it, I sprayed it like right here which is where I usually spray my perfume. And I just remember getting wafts of it and wafts of it and wafts of it. And I was like, honestly, like I feel sick. Like it just was so sweet and like smoky and nauseating that I just couldn't wear it anymore. Don't let that like steer you away from the fragrance because it still is a fantastic one, especially for the fall and winter. 
I just had an experience with it that I was just feeling overwhelmed by the scent and it just really made me feel sick. And in my head, I feel like it's a little bit too sweet for me, which is crazy because you guys know me. I love sweet fragrances. They're my jam. But this one is just a little bit too nauseatingly sweet for me. By the fireplace. Great scent. I'm sorry to go on a rant about it, but it's a great scent. I also really love Jazz Club and Jazz Club popped up a lot in my Instagram comments. The only thing is that I wanted to include one, not the other, and By the Fireplace was apparently more popular. And I understand why. Great scent. Longevity and projection, it's fantastic on this one. No problem, no worries. It's great in that department. Okay, next up, we have Herod, Herod from Parfum de Mali. When I met Pierre, we actually bonded over our love for Herod and we both it was both our favorite fragrance at the time and we like bonded over the fact that we loved it so much and uh anyways Herod from Parfum de Mali it's my favorite vanilla tobacco cinnamon combination in the industry I think it is just so sexy it's very sweet it's woody it has tobacco and cinnamon and like this ambery feeling underneath I also pick up like this cherry pipe tobacco sort of smell, like this cherryish vibe, which I love about Herod. And whenever Pierre and I, we have like a special date or something, he always wears this fragrance because it's the one that reminds me the most of him. And it's so sentimental to me because I love it so much. And whenever I smell it, I just think about the time that we met. So it's really a special fragrance for me. I love it so much, not just because of that, it's one of the sexiest fragrances that I have ever smelled on a man, especially in the fall and winter. It just works so well. You have a big scarf around your neck. You're wearing maybe like all black leather boots and you spray on your little bit of Herod. It's intoxicating. And if you're a girl, do not feel strange about wearing this fragrance just because it's marketed towards men. It's definitely not masculine. It's just a sexy, delicious tobacco, cinnamon, vanilla type of scent that I recommend to both genders 100%. I don't wear it anymore because it's Pierre's scent, but I just, I love her. I love him, I so, I'm sorry. So let's talk about this fragrance right here. Angel Share by Killian. Now, this was definitely popular. Let's say that. I've heard so much about this fragrance and when this fragrance came out, the hype around it was absolutely crazy. Like the hype around this fragrance was enormous. Everyone was talking about it. Everyone was reviewing it. Everyone was excited about it. It was such a big release and I really like it as well. I definitely really like this scent, but do I love it? I'm not sure. For me, I prefer, like I have my favorites from Killian. It's intoxicated. For the fall and winter, you cannot be intoxicated. I'm telling you that right now. You cannot beat the king intoxicated. But Angel Share is a really nice one. I just don't think it is the most unique of all of the fragrances. And I don't think it's anything crazy. Although I really like it a lot. And please take that wording with a grain of salt it doesn't mean i don't like the scent i really really do it just it's not my it didn't blow me away so much it's like a fruity very sweet spicy like saffron apple like i don't even know the notes of this fragrance i'm not even sure but it has this very 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 sweet type of scent it has this like kind of spice maybe maybe saffron mixed with some apple and then there is some like kind of very sticky sweetness to it as well it's obviously woody underneath and i really like it so i cannot say a bad thing about it because i really like it longevity is good on this one it's nothing crazy it doesn't project and last a super long time when i tested it but it's not bad at all. So Angel Share was definitely a popular one. I don't know, can you guys tell me your experience with this fragrance? Did you get lots of compliments? Does it last like crazy on your skin? Like I wanna know some people's feedback, mostly about compliments because I would like to know if it's like a crowd pleaser fragrance, if it's a attention grabbing one because I haven't worn it enough to be honest. I wore it like twice so I don't really know the vibe of like people and stuff. Tell me guys, what do you, what do you get with Angel Share? Because I'm not really sure about this one. Diptyque's Eau de Well. This is the Eau de Toilette, but I also have the Eau de Parfum over there. 
Now, I, I also really see this one as being a great fall and winter scent. I love it so much. Let me spray it. It's a vanilla fragrance, but it's a very complex vanilla fragrance, yet being so simple. I don't even know if that makes sense in your mind, but it has a lot of elements to it and it smells rather unique for being a vanilla fragrance. Like you're not just going to get this straight up sweet scent. Not at all. It has a complexity to it. It has some spice, some aromaticness, a bit of a green touch, a bit balmy and resinous. And overall, I really, really love this as a vanilla fragrance. It's one of my, it was one of my favorites since a long time, but I just pick for other things. I'm not really sure why, but maybe it's gonna rebirth my love for Eau Dwell because it's such a good scent. Oops. Oh, fantastic fragrance, really good longevity. Whenever I was wearing it quite a while ago, I would get maybe like seven hours of wear and it sits rather close to the skin to be honest, but it's still, it's okay. Anyways, that's the final recommendation. Loved all of your guys' picks. Honestly, they're all fragrances that I like to wear in the fall. Maybe except for Eau Duel, I didn't really manage to wear it. And by the fireplace, I'm a little like this about that fragrance. Anyways, and finally, I want to mention My Baby, which in my opinion is the best fragrance for the fall and winter. Creamy, milky, coffee, vanilla, cardamom, spice, woodiness underneath. It is just incredible for men and women. I love it so much. And I think it's the best fragrance for the fall and winter. And if you like my recommendations and what I tell you guys to buy, you need to get this one. So yeah. Anyways, that is it. Thank you so... <laughs> Should I show you guys my top again? Woo! <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye-bye.